Now, as you know, we've been on the Apocalypse Now series. Um, we we're just talking about different things with the end times and stuff that um, maybe you have been a little bit um, used, misused, abused <laughs> over the course of 2020. Um, and I just want to, you know, lead off with this. You know, if if 20 if 2020 was some people have a lot of different ideas about the end times, and if and if 2020 was the end, I mean, it 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 would have. It would have happened, but see, see what I mean? Like we're 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 gonna we're going into another year here in a couple months. You see what I mean? And, and for some people, twenty twenty itself has become almost like a, um, what do you say? Uh, uh, it being like um, um, superstitious. Oh, there's the word. Uh, twenty twenty has become almost superstitious. You know what I mean? Like. Even things that normally would have happened anyways, they're all like, oh, it's just because it's 2020. And it's like, well, maybe maybe we kind of gotten where we were looking for something that's really bad, but it's really not. So yeah, obviously everybody around us is, is talking about, it's the end times, it's the end, it's the end. And here's the thing. It, 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 that's really based off of a uh, misconception. So let's, let's kind of look at this little bit by little bit, okay? Um, in the Old Testament and in the prophets and stuff, they, they talk a lot about the day of the Lord. Now, you would think that the day of the Lord would be like the end times, but it's not necessarily the, the, the end times. The day of the Lord is a time of, oftentimes it's a time, time of punishment or, or God's wrath. It's a time of a severe change. Um, uh, like, a good example of this is some of the prophets talk about the day of the Lord and how Jerusalem will be destroyed and whatnot. And they're talking about the wrath of God and all that stuff. And what they were talking about was Babylon uh, destroying uh, Judah. This is when Israel was taken into 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 captivity. They were taken out of their homeland. Uh, Jerusalem, the the holy city, was destroyed, um, and, and and all that. And that was the day of the Lord. Well, but then also they talked about other days of the Lord, um, day of the Lord's. I don't know where the S would go. I don't know if it would be Days of the Lord or Day of the Lords. I don't know. Uh, Day of the Lords kind of sounds like there's multiple lords. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, days of the Lord. Let's just stick with that. Uh, but then there's also, it, the issue kind of gets a little bit more complicated because um, some of them use a little bit different uh, vocabulary. And some of them are talking about similar situations. And some of them are prophesying something that has multiple fulfillments. And... So all those different complexities, this is what it comes down to. You have to study every different part for what it is rather than picking and choosing different parts of one or the other that will cause the most panic. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what people do with the Mark of the Beast. So I know end times, scary things. Let's throw zombies in there because zombies are scary. And uh, Mark of the Beast says Mark of the Beast is scary. See what I mean? And so it's like, well, what, what exact doctrine is that based off of? Like, where is that found in, in the Bible that you're talking about zombies and, and, and all this stuff? Well, I mean, it's in there somewhere. Well, are you sure, though? Because <laughs> I'm fairly sure zombies aren't in the Bible. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so that takes us to 1 Timothy 4. 1. It says this. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in latter times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Now, he said that this would happen in the latter days. Now, this is kind of an important point, okay? The things that he's talking about here, that was happening when he was writing. And he fully believed that he was in, la in the latter days. So now, fast forward 2,000 years. Was he wrong? Or, more likely, are we still in the latter days? So with that being said, it's the end times. Yes, it is the end times. Absolutely, it is the end times. But it's not the end times because we're having a bad year. It's not the end times because crops and all these different things. And we'll look more about this and what Jesus has to say um, next week uh, from Matthew chapter 24. But uh, um, <coughs> it's the end times because the Messiah has been revealed. And now is the time for the Gentiles, the, the non-Jews, uh, to come in and, 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 know, and know God. Um, and then that, when that time comes to an end, it'll lead us into the next stage. Now, with that being said, okay, so yes, we are in the end times, but this has been going on for 2,000 years. See, what people try to do is they try to do what's called fear-mongering. That's when you're trying to trying to work people up into a frenzy and cause them as much panic as humanly possible. First off, let, let's all take a deep breath. Okay. 
saying enough, let's remember that we are Christians and we really don't have anything to fear. I mean, it's, even if something scary does happen, we know that ultimately we're going to be in heaven for eternity. So, I mean, I think we can endure a few moment, moments of scariness for the sake of what's coming. I mean, think of Jesus. Um, you know, he had to endure something that was um, probably a little scary, um, that was very shameful, uh, very humiliating, dying on the cross for us. But it says that he, he went through it because of what, what would come from it. So I, I think that we can kind of follow that same kind of pattern there. So with that being said, yes, it is the end times, but let's just take a deep breath and remember what all that involves. That involves a lot of people getting saved. That involves a lot of people falling away from God. That involves a lot of wars and all these different things. And that's even before the Antichrist even comes. And we're seeing that. We've been seeing that for 2,000 years. You know, uh, when, you know, volcanoes erupt and it causes a worldwide problem. When, uh, you know, when there's fires in the southwest of, of uh, America and it's causing a large problem really throughout a, a very wide area. Stuff like that. But remember, these things will, will come and go kind of like birth pains. And uh, nobody knows the hour or the day. And don't, don't, don't get into that mindset where I can't be thankful for today and I have to live in panic and fear for today. The Bible doesn't tell us about the end times so we can live in panic and fear. The, <laughs> the Bible tells us about the end times so we can be prepared, so we can um, you know, be going about the master's business, that kind of stuff. And uh, so just don't let the world kind of decide what you believe with the end times, with, you know, whether or not to be scared. Just kind of take a step back and, re and remember these things in, in um, perspective. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, see you guys.